In this movie, we'll be installing Cassandra with our downloaded tarball file. Before we leap into that, let me just mention a couple additional things. One is that along with being able to install Cassandra through a tarball file, you can also install it from a package manager. And looking here at this page, which is wiki.apache.org slash Cassandra slash Debian packaging, you can see the steps for installing Cassandra through a package manager. In addition, if we go to Planet Cassandra and we go to the page here, which is planetcassandra.org slash Cassandra, which is where you would download the Datastax Community Edition from, which is free and includes some additional items. So along with Cassandra, you also get some bonus items. And then down here is the part I really wanted to point out, which is the installation guides. For the various operating systems, you have instructions on installing for a tarball or a package manager. Very nice options that you have here. I would like to point out that although you see Mac and Windows on the list here, you probably wouldn't want to use either of those operating systems for production because for production, it's really Linux that is the norm. CentOS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, one of those are normally used as the operating system for production. Let's go back to our virtual machine and go ahead and install our tarball file. In terms of where does it go, it's really completely up to you. Wherever you unzip that tarball file to is where Cassandra will be installed. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do CD and hit enter to go up to my default home directory. And in here, let's make a directory named Cassandra. We can name this directory anything we want, but Cassandra makes sense. So mkdir space Cassandra, enter that. And then let's go inside of that directory, cd Cassandra. And then inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and move our tarball file over to here. mv space tilde slash downloads. I pressed the tab key so that I didn't have to type the whole name of the directory there. And then the name of the file that I'd like to move is our tarball file. So if I start typing in the name of it, Apache and hit tab, it'll go ahead and type in the rest of it for me. Space and then dot, because I'd like to move the file to this directory and hit enter. If I do an LS, I'm gonna see that it's now here. And let's go ahead and unpack this. So we'll do tar hyphen XVZF space Apache and instead of typing the whole thing out I'm going to hit tab and then enter. Just takes a few seconds there. Great. If I go ahead and do an ls we'll see that new directory now exists. The one that you see there in blue and if we'd like to go inside of it we can do cd. I started typing the name of it and then I hit tab enter ls. You can see that it's installed and that these are the directories within the Apache Cassandra 2.07 directory. We'll be learning all about these as we go forward. So we've now got Cassandra installed.